Hi Stampers, I'm Jill and welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm here to show you a fun idea with these. I got really inspired with these fun for everything sequins, fancy sequins. And I love these colors, this icy blue and this uh, like, um, I'm calling it a Grinch green because it's kind of a lima screen, but it's also um, just really pretty also, and this pink one. So I designed a couple cards just using these sequins as my focus. And normally I do Christmas cards with the red and white. I have a video of red and white cards and I love to do red and white, but I'm doing a little bit different and we're making some alternative ideas for some Christmas cards. Normally pink is not a holiday color, but if you notice, a lot of the pastels are in the holiday decorations this year. I'm gonna use a stamp set that would coordinate with this idea, the a Joyful Flurry stamp set and the dies. And who doesn't like glimmer paper? I just love anything that sparkles and I'm gonna use the pink ones today. So if you look right here, I've got the the glimmer paper and I'm using the lighter colors of the glimmer paper to go ahead and punch out these designs. So with these sequins, they make an awesome shaker card, but I'm gonna use the simplified version of that. I learned this from another fellow demonstrator. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the gold as the accent around it. There's a lot of gold in the sequins with the pink. So let me show you, I can decide to do use either side of this paper, and this is a hostess paper that you can get at the back of the mini catalog. So I think I'm gonna use just the pink and a clear envelope. The way that you do this for the easy way, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the paper that I'm not gonna use facing up so I can push it right into the corner, real taut. And then I'm gonna fold it over, try to get all the air out of the bag so there's no air left behind. And then I'm gonna use just a regular tape, scotch tape on this to, to really fold it down and adhere it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open this up a little bit and I'm gonna pour the sequins inside of it that I wanna use. There are so many sequins in here, and there's pearls. I mean, I didn't really realize there was pearls in here, and you can kind of move that around to see how, how thick you want it. So that's about, that's about the thickness I want. So, and you know what I also love about these? You can use them with adhesive and use them for embellishments also for your cards. So it gives you a lot of different options. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the adhesive off the back and kind of tuck a fold in to a diagonal this way. And then pull the whole thing down with the adhesive. And then it stays. And if you want to, if you feel like that that's too bulky right here, you can still use another piece of scotch tape in that corner to hold the whole thing down. Okay, so there we have our shaker card, our easy shaker card. And then I've basically taken the colors from this and used them as my palette to go ahead and create. I like using the Stamp and Seal Plus for putting this down on your cardstock because it really seals it down. It's super sticky. So it's an easy one to be able to use for this purpose. I'm gonna go ahead and put, before I start this, is a ribbon that I wanna use. And this is this glitter organdy ribbon that's in the main catalog. And I'm gonna go ahead and just go like that go ahead and cut it because I'm going to first put it down on my paper because the adhesive's already on it and this way your organy ribbon is stuck to the card with the adhesive already on it. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and tie 
a little knot here on the side and just gonna make a little not a bow but just a knot okay so that's kind of like it almost looks like a present so we're gonna do the card this way on our Bombly blue so we're using the polished pink and balmy blue are the two colors we're using for this Christmas card trim these this balmy blue piece of cardstock is four and a quarter by 11. The gold cardstock is three and three quarters by five. The pink is four and three quarters by three and a half. And that way you get your edging all the way around the card. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hear that whole thing down again with my stamp and seal because I when it's a little bit more bulky, you want it to stick really well. Okay, so we've got that going down on the cardstock. And then I'm going to go ahead and do some stamping. This will be the inside of the card. So I'm going to go ahead and do the polished pink first. And polished pink also for our saying. So I'm going to do joyful wishes for the saying on the outside and on the inside I'm going to do happy Christmas and let's do a little bit of polished pink and balmy blue on the seat on the um, snowflakes just kind of all over the place this is the inside of the card and the inside of the card is three and a half the same size as the pink piece that we used three and a half by four and three quarters. Oh, did you know what? I just put my, I just made like a purple color <laughs> on my snowflake. So we've got all the colors right here. Fun inside for the card. So I'm going to go ahead and hear that too on the inside. Go ahead and finish this card up. I want to punch this out with our our rectangle postage punch joyful wishes it's like almost perfect for this saying and we'll pop that up with some dimensionals so it almost looks like it's a tag kind of coming off the ribbon joyful wishes i went ahead and already cut this out with the glimmer paper from the frosted flurry dies and look how cool that looks with the two different colors now the way that you adhere this onto our glitter snowflakes here that we've got is I take this and I pull it up and I roll it in my fingers and then I put it in the center of the snowflake. So it kind of pops it up but it really will hold onto the glitter good. And the same thing with these I'm going to go ahead and roll for these two so that they'll also stay down on the really shiny area of the paper. So I'm going to go ahead and put one right here and I think I'll put a dimensional on this one and then let's do one down here. Oh my gosh, to get this card with all those sparkles. Now wait a minute, there's one more, one more thing. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pop this open and with your take your pick tool, this is the beauty of these wonderful sequins is I'm going to go ahead and take one of the gold pieces right here and take my, take your pick tool, pick up the adhesive, put it right in the center of where I want it to be and then put this sequin right down on it, push it down and it picks it up right here with the sticky stuff from your tape your pick tool and I'm going to do the same thing with another gold piece picked up another gold one roll my adhesive now maybe um, you don't want to have to deal with adhesive but sometimes you want a certain color that matches and when these are already in the shaker card I think they make an amazing look for the shaker card so I'm going to use them on the outside of the shaker card too. There's so many pieces that these embellishments can go on any card because 
you get so many and the pearls are amazing in here too. I didn't even realize the pearls were in here till I started making some of these cards. Okay, so there we have the gold coming out and shaker, what a fun card to get. And it's really a lot simpler just using those clear envelopes as a shaker card. Let me show you some other ideas made with this sequins. Now the blue ones actually were the first ones that inspired me to actually make the card. And I just love this combination. I said, I thought, oh my gosh, that looks like such a wintry scene. So let me show you what I worked up with the blue. And the blue and gold, I embossed the season of magic and wonder on there. Put the sequins on the little dies. So that's fun with a little bit of ribbon. Well, actually one more with the blue because I loved the contrast of the blue with the darker, the Pacific Point background paper. So just love how these go. And I know the kids would love to get these too. Here's um, the final one. I also added some of this on there with the pink. Now the green because this reminded me of more like the Grinch kind of colors of Christmas. I went ahead and did a Merry Grinchmas and made a real fun bling color. There's that background paper from the package of the Hostess set and it, it lends itself to these colors. So just some fun cr different Christmas ideas and coloring to use at Christmas time. And I just love how this reminds me of the Grinch because our son dresses up as the Grinch and plays the Grinch out in front of our house when people are coming by to see our Christmas lights. I hope you've enjoyed these alternate ideas of Christmas colors. If you like any of these products, click the links below. And we'll see you next time on Watch It Weekly Wednesday. Merry Grinchmas! <laughs>